Dave, after a couple year hiatus, the Shiloh Country Club plays host to the province's top juniors coming up this week. From a managerial standpoint, how excited is everybody to see what some of these talented youngsters are able to achieve? We're super excited out in Shiloh. We can't wait to uh, have the juniors out there, and uh, we're we're looking very forward to seeing what they can do around the uh, the track there in Shiloh. Absolutely. You have an opportunity to teach a lot of young players. Are you as surprised as me as to the young age that so many of these are, how good they are so early in their young careers? Yeah, it's amazing. There's so many kids that put in a lot of work. Uh, you know, they're practicing, they're playing every day. They're, they're hitting, hitting the ball extremely far. Um, it's an exciting time to be around golf and, and especially junior golf. Um, a lot of great young talent coming out of Westman. And I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, this week and, and uh, years to come. Let's talk about the course itself, the Shiloh Country Club. The men and the women from a junior standpoint will have an opportunity for three days of competition. Walk us through, give us an overall maybe outlook on it before we get to some specific holes. Sure, it's, uh, it's a tricky little track, not very long. Uh, the greens are, are certainly uh, challenging, very sloped, uh, tend to be very fast. So that's going to be where they're going to have to really, uh, you know, slow down and and uh, figure things out around the greens. You've got to leave the spot, the ball in the right spot. You got to be below the hole on most of them. Um, it can make or break your round absolutely. So uh, you know, keeping the ball in play off the tee. There's some holes that are very, very tight and narrow. And then certainly coming into the greens, you've got to be uh, you got to be pretty specific on your targets. So it's a good challenge. Let's take it to the front nine before we get to the back nine and a couple of holes that stand out for you that might be intriguing to see how these players are able to navigate through. Starting from the first hole, it's a long part four up over a hill. And, uh, you know, it's easy to, to take a big number there. You got to be careful. You got to place your shot well off the tee. And then uh, it's a fairly severely sloped green from front to back or sorry, back to front. So, you know, anything short there on one is, uh, is better than going long. And then you got a few wide open holes, two, three, four, five's a par five. That's certainly uh, reachable. And then you get into a tight stretch, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, six, a short par three, but then seven, eight, nine, right out of the bush. Uh, eight's a long par three and nine's a tricky par five. So you've, you've got to really be careful when you hit seven uh, to place your ball uh, properly off the tee. You got to be in play. Uh, you know, you, you can't, uh, you can't get into the bush in Shiloh. You'll lose your ball for sure. Very hard to find it. Moving on to the back nine where things always get interesting, depending how that start went, what can uh, these players expect? Well, the back nine opens up with a grueling par, par four up a hill to a extremely sloped green from right to left. Uh, you gotta be in the fairway and, you know, going long on 10 or to the right, you're, it's almost an impossible up and down. So, you know, even taking bogey on hole 10 is an acceptable score there. Uh, 11 and 12 shorter holes, uh, you know, you had opportunities for birdie there. And then 13, a short par three over water. Uh, nothing too uh, over challenging there. And then you, you get into a stretch where you can actually make up some ground. 14 and 15 are drivable par fours. It's kind of a risk reward. There's an opportunity to go for them. There's certainly trouble up around the green, but it's a chance to uh, maybe get a couple back. 16 is a short par three down a hill. Uh, a lot of surrounding trees and bunkers that makes it a little bit tricky. And then 17, 18, two par fives coming home and uh, can change the dynamics of the game and the tournament right there. You have the opportunity for a couple of birdies or maybe an eagle coming in. So it's a great stretch, those last five or six holes, and a lot can happen. A lot of, a lot of things can change on the leaderboard there. Dave, appreciate the insight. We're looking forward to a fun week and uh, we'll have lots of opportunity to catch up. Thanks for your time. You bet, Brian. I appreciate it. Thank you.